So sometimes you get stuck with your AFK progress. You're like, I just can't beat this wave. Well, there's actually two options for you to do, one of which is so much better than I originally thought. When you lose a battle, uh, you can either ask for someone to do the battle for you, or you can ask for a synergy hero. That synergy hero is probably going to be stronger than your normal heroes. However, did you know it actually is an additional hero and not a replacement hero, meaning beating your level became so much easier. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's talk about synergy and proxy battles. I do find it a little humbling and interesting that even to this day, we're finding out and discovering things that we didn't know about the game. And there's tons of things to actually talk about. So one thing I have not personally done is I, when I get stuck, I usually don't ask for help. I just realize chances are my team needs the power up and we need to get a little bit further, which is interesting because I did talk about the guild quests the other day and the fact that one of them is to complete proxy and synergy battles. That's doing it for other people. However, I've never actually done one for myself. So when I actually requested it today, it was a little interesting to say the least. So what happened was I got stuck on stage 556 and I was like, you know what? I've never asked for synergy hero. I'm going to do it. So the first thing I was like, okay, I'll get rid of one of my heroes because, you know, someone gave me an OD. I put their OD in my lineup because they are exclusive out everything. And I went to hit battle and it said, your formation is incomplete. Begin the battle anyway. Usually I just ignore pop-ups in this game because I know typically what's going on. But then I realized there's actually six icons here. So that actually means I can still keep my existing OD in the team while using the synergy OD at the same time. Meaning you're now going into this battle with six heroes instead of five. Let's actually see how this battle goes now that we have double OD. I don't know if that's going to be what puts us over the top here. Uh, we got some energy feed from Rowan. We have our, uh, our OD about already ready to go for another ultimate here. Uh, yeah, this double OD seems to be putting in work. Uh, <laughs> this is much different than it went previously when it was 5v4, now 6v4 we had an absolute overwhelming advantage and yeah big shout out to the help right there oh no i think yep <laughs> we did so good it just crashed so now that we're back we have the victory and we are moving on so that is a really cool thing because when you do ask for one of those as well and you go to your chat here you can actually send resources back you can say thank you for the battle and you can just give them hearts as well which is just really really cool that's just pal coins are really awesome because pal coins also give you some currency in this game for your affinity with your heroes which can give you diamonds uh summons all that fun stuff really really cool so we're gonna see if we can push a little bit more afk progress here and if we get stuck i'm gonna show you the other option at your disposal so we're just going to go ahead do some auto battling and let's see how this actually turns out you know what turn off auto battle i like seeing everything on the screen uh this is my go-to team right here typically although sometimes i actually run a second tank or i run a second support hero instead of the od because let's be honest Cecilia does pretty much everything herself and we'll probably have a video dedicated to her very very soon uh, but yeah, that's typically what I do. Ceci is kind of like a one woman show here. She usually does everything we need all by herself. So sometimes I'll chuck in like Reinier or something like that. And he'll get some good CC off in the back row. Then we have the confining artifact going off. And it typically works out well because on top of that, Reinier does work as a support when he does use his ultimate. He's going to take he himself and somebody else into the abyss essentially right here goodbye thorin we don't have to deal with him anymore we can now just go in and see if we can finish off the others and then we can heal up in the meantime oh sorry lucius it was lucius on the other me side here uh but yeah it just buys us a ton of time and that's why like ceci is literally a one woman army you don't need another damage dealer if you just are pushing things like uh the campaign story mode or even afk progress the majority of the times now some waves you do need to put a unique hero setup in but as you guys can see, we were hard stuck on that stage, but simply getting that synergy battle and that help from one of our guildmates or one of your server mates 
uh lets you keep pushing and that's going to mean more resources more bonus rewards from clearing levels and all that fun stuff so let's see how far we can push today and chances are we are going to get stuck again pretty soon i would say and then that brings us to the other option uh because i think you can only do one synergy battle a day but you might be able to do the other one as well so we're able to make a few more levels of progress here however we did get stopped at 578 now this is where the power-ups come in usually it's like battle advice it's like you know upgrade stuff no duh but we have this power-up section and you can see right here i already used the afk synergy battle once and i think it resets probably every day now we're at afk proxy battle request so this is the next thing you do other players can use your hero formations to defeat the enemy after it's initiated so you can share it to guild uh you can share it to the team up channel and that's where typically you see these battles pop up are going to be in the team up channel uh now we have one out there ourselves you can see right here synergy request i can throw in a hero i can send it to them and they can try to use it and get past their uh level they're stuck on there are probably man a lot of people are doing it sadly i, I don't need to do any more of them this week i've already done them all but this is the proxy battle right here so this is seeing the enemy team and you're going basically on to that other person's account and you're going to try to find a combination of heroes that are going to work for a victory so i'm going to do something like that because this is like the go-to formation i do i love having entendra in uh tandem with thorin uh it just works out really good because then thorin has time to revive and tandra keeps the back line going cessia then eventually gets to use her ultimate which hopefully lets everybody else get to full health and then you finally get to turn the tide of the battle sometimes it still falls apart though sadly our cessia did die and we are going to lose but it does give us the option to have people that might know a little bit more about your team composition to try to brute force it and break through it because you just can't you're just stuck and it's not going to happen and again you need to do that 20 times yourself you need to be paying attention to this team up channel uh the captures are cool uh the proxy is probably one that's a little harder to do but the synergy battles those are the quick easy ones because you just send a hero off get it done and like i said it does help finish out these 20 proxy and synergy battles again if it's a proxy battle and you're going to control their units and get victories you need to win in order for that to actually count here so it's very difficult it can be time consuming so keep that in mind so hopefully you learned something new today if we can learn one new thing about our game that might help us progress better hey i'll take it because i just learned that myself well i got eight more stages done or like 10 more stages done today so that's a huge thumbs up and tomorrow we'll just rinse and repeat so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you enjoyed or learned anything leave a comment down below hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and then also check in the description or the pinned comment we have a 10,000 subscriber giveaway going on try to win some free stuff i'm trying to give back to you guys because you guys are being awesome watching all these videos hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time